Hello everyone and welcome. Welcome to today's video. I am pretty excited to do another tag video. I recently saw this video on Mel Thompson um, YouTube channel <laughs> and where she was talking about the resolution tag. If you don't know, if you haven't watched, I did create a resolution um video and i'm gonna put it up here if you're curious if you want to go and see that by the way what do you think about my hair it's cute right <laughs> anyway um yeah it's a resolution tag we're gonna answer a few questions so if you're interested in that go ahead and keep on watching so uh Let's see what we have in here. I was kind of curious. I saw some other people uh, recreating this tag and I was like, mm, let me go on my channel and try to answer this question. So first question, it says, something that you do regularly in your makeup routine that you will try to stop. Now, here's the thing. I always like to do um, my eye makeup after I apply my foundation and everything. And to be honest with you, I don't think I'm going to stop that anytime soon. But one thing that I feel like I could try to stop it, it would be um, to uh, wear very heavy, not heavy, but very full coverage um, makeup, a uh, very cool, full coverage foundation. As I said in one of my other videos, I am trying to embrace more of a medium coverage foundation, more skin-like looking uh, texture on my skin. So I'm trying to get on down on that path. I'm not sure if I'm gonna fully stop wearing full coverage foundation so that's one thing that i'm going to try to do now a brand that you will try for the first time i have said in a different video uh, some brands that i'm trying to try this year and i think one of them <sighs> let's see i i did talk about a bunch of them but i think one of them is gonna be melt or Sigma this year. I have not tried Sigma brushes and I've been trying to get something from them, but nothing fully kind of grabbed me in it. Um, I'm still like, kind of thinking about it, but also Melt is the same thing. I, I did, I was able to see some things that I did enjoy on Melt's website, but I just, I don't know. I haven't pulled the trigger yet. We'll see when you get there, but for now, I think those two are definitely going to be a go this year. So stay tuned if you're interested in um, that. A brand that you will let go in 2020, I think, and I know this is not necessarily um, something that a lot of people are going to say. This is not a popular opinion, but I think I'm going to let Elf go this year. I think I've tried way too many things from their brand that was not quite to my liking and I, uh, I I just don't have that much interest in e.l.f. this year and I really want to try some other different brands and I want to put my attention and my money into those so e.l.f. is not going to be on my list of purchasing things this year at least so far it's not uh, next a uh, product you will give a second chance to so there's multiple products in my collection that i could give a second chance to uh but i i don't know i don't know which one should i give a second chance to though mm. I don't know. At this time, maybe I want to go and give it a second chance to some eyeshadow palettes that I have tried and I did not enjoy them at the first sight. Maybe some of the um, Makeup Revolution palettes that are from the Friends one or maybe... Uh, I don't know. I did try Nabla again, which I know how I feel about it now, so I don't need to go back to that. But yeah, I think I think some of the, my eyeshadow palettes, I really don't know right now which ones, 
but definitely one of the eyeshadow palettes. Maybe even the Private Society one and kind of give it a go again. Maybe. But, yeah. A resolution for your YouTube channel. Um... Honestly, I don't know. I'm I'm trying. I mean, I have a bunch of resolutions for my YouTube channel, but right now, I'm trying just to be uh, able to post three videos a week. It's gonna be difficult, especially if um, I'm gonna find a job and trying to go to a job and also having school and doing this as well. It's gonna be really difficult to do three videos a week. But as long as I can, I am going to try my best to do three weeks, uh, three videos a week. So that's one of them. Um, do you have any skincare resolutions? Yes, I definitely need to be a little bit more consistent with my skincare routine. Um, I do use a lot of things, but sometimes I just want to skip and not doing at night time. And that's not good because nighttime you, this that's the time you have to treat your skin and i usually just kind of try to skip that but not anymore 2021 we're gonna we're gonna focus a lot on skincare next one um a youtube beauty challenge you will partake in i'm definitely gonna do i mean i'm doing already uh ro rolling rolling pal pan Rolling pan project. Yes, that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, I think I might get into some different things during the year. But for now, definitely that's one of the things that I'm doing right now. Also, I'm going to, I did start it. Will I buy it series as well? Or maybe we're going to more become more of an anti-hole. Definitely that's going to be in there. A beauty habit you need to stop this year. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe purchasing things I don't need. I don't know. Something like that. I do have a lot. I do have a lot of. Uh, I do have a lot of makeup in my collection, and I definitely need to start using it a little bit more often. And I need to start using my collection more. And I definitely need to stop purchasing things that just because everybody's talking about it and just because I feel like I'm missing out. So I um, need to be a little bit more, looking a little bit more into what I'm purchasing and what I'm bringing into my collection. I don't want my collection to explode and become really crazy and have things that expire. I just don't like that feeling. And um, yeah, basically that's what I'm going to try to do. So this is it for today. Let me know if you guys like this type of tag videos, if you enjoyed them. Um, and if you want to give your answer down below, that will be great as well. I'm going to try to link this uh, questions in my description box if you want to do them too. And that's it. This is it for today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching this. And I cannot wait to see you next time with another video. Bye.